identifying threats is perhaps always the first step when it comes to risk assessment. Not just in cyber risk assessment, but in any risk assessment. Cyber threats are incidents or events with the potential to have a damaging outcome to your network, data management system, and business operations. No system is fully immune to them simply because there's just too many threats out there to prevent them all. In this lecture, we will focus on the four groups of people who can be threats to your organization in terms of cybersecurity. Welcome to FEMFI TV, Paris Maritime's YouTube channel, where existing and future maritime professionals come to get informed and inspired. Please hit the subscribe button so that you won't miss out on our latest contents. Group number one is a no-brainer, cyber criminals. Who else could pose potential threats to cybersecurity more obvious than cyber criminals? Cyber criminals are in for it for the financial gain and would hack anyone whose vulnerability matches their strategy. They will steal data, ransom data, ransom systems operability, and modify normal flow of automated operations whenever they can. In March 2019, Norwegian shipbuilding giant Norsk Hydro was specifically targeted by a cyber criminal who used ransomware. The attack caused Norsk Hydro to temporarily halt production in several plants and ended up costing them around $50 million. In October 2018, Australian ferry and defense shipbuilder company Austal was hit by a cyber breach on the company's data management systems. The attackers, believed to be Iranian hackers, managed to steal sensitive data and offered some of it for sale on the dark net. Group number two, disgruntled employees. Disgruntled employees are harmful to any organization and they do exist. They can create irreversible damage to the company's brand, alienate valuable clients, cause expensive mistakes, leak sensitive company information, stop potential hires from coming over, be guilty of tardiness, and be guilty of even theft. In August 2015, Ashley Madison, a company that provides a secure and private way for its users to pursue extramarital relationships, suffered a massive data breach. A hacker group named the Impact Team published 10 gigabytes worth of data, which includes whereabouts of the users of the services of Ashley Madison. Ashley Madison CEO Noel Bederman suspects that the members of the impact team were in fact retrenched employees. Group number three, the opportunists. Opportunistic hackers may never plan to attack an organization on purpose, but still can become serious threats to that of the company's cybersecurity when given the opportunity. They usually perform a system breach just for the fun of it or for the challenge. But when inside the system, they could be tempted to monetize the attack, which happens on most occasions. Spam ransomware attacks are one of the most common examples of opportunistic attacks. When the infamous WannaCry ransomware hit dozens of organizations and regular computer users worldwide, the hackers didn't target each of their victims individually. Instead, they used an exploit found in older versions of Windows as an opportunity to infect as many computers as they could. WannaCry targeted computers running in Microsoft OS by encrypting data and demanding ransom payments in Bitcoin. Before Microsoft developed the kill switch that prevented infected computers from spreading WannaCry further, 
The malware have affected more than 200,000 computers across 150 countries, with total damages ranging from the hundreds of millions to billions of dollars. On March 2016, hackers under the banner name Anonymous Philippines hacked into the website of the Philippine Commission on Elections and modified its appearance. Within the same day, a separate group of hackers under the banner name LULS SEC Filipinas posted an online link to what it claims to be the entire database of the Philippine Commission on Elections, which includes the details of all registered voters and the details of all agency staff members. A week after the breach, two college students were arrested and was confirmed to be behind it all. They claimed that they were just up for the challenge of penetrating one of the most important government IT infrastructure and were not going to do any harm to anyone whatsoever. The incident was considered the biggest private data leak in the Philippine history and leaving 55 million registered Filipino voters at risk. Group number 4 here we are at the last item on our list and perhaps the most significant due to its secretive nature. Nation States Nation State hackers target government agencies, critical infrastructure, and any and all industries known to contain sensitive data or property. Typically, they strike via sophisticated techniques that interrupt business operations, leak confidential information, and generate massive data and revenue loss. Unlike ordinary hackers, state-sponsored groups often create and leverage custom attack vectors by incorporating previously undiscovered software vulnerabilities called zero days, which are sold in the black market for several hundred thousands of dollars. These advanced attacks are why state-sponsored cyber threats are often referred to as advanced persistent threats. In July 2018, the United States Federal Grand Jury filed indictments against Russian military intelligence officers for their alleged role in interfering with the 2016 U.S. presidential election. These indictments include gaining unauthorized access to computers used solely for the 2016 U.S. elections and staging the release of stolen documents to influence the outcome of the election. In September 2018, the Department of Justice announced criminal charges against Park Jin Hyuk, an alleged member of a North Korean government-backed hacking team known as Lazarus. This group is known for the creation of the notorious WannaCry ransomware that is responsible for hundreds of cyber theft on financial institutions across the globe, including the infamous theft of $81 million from the Bangladesh Central Bank. So there you have it, the four groups of people who can be threats to our cyber security. This marks the end of our lecture video. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more contents like this. We are Far East Maritime Training Center your one-stop shop for all your maritime training needs. Some of our courses are available online. For the complete list, please visit our Facebook page. PM is always the key. We hope to see you on our next lecture video. Thank you for watching. God bless and more power to the maritime industry.